Hello, good evening, welcome. It's just gone eight o'clock here in the Russian capital. You're watching RT International. Now, an unmanned Russian progress rocket that blasted off to the International Space Station lost contact with mission control. It's not known how this may affect the rest of the flight to the ISS and also the delivery of vital supplies. Well, RT's Nikki Aram joins us uh, live now in the studio uh, to tell us a bit more about this. So what, what's the latest, Nikki? OK, well, this is an unmanned Russian spacecraft which blasted off around two hours ago from Russia's space launch complex in Baikonur, Kazakhstan. It was on a mission to deliver two and a half tons of um, metric tons of rocket fuel, water, food and other supplies to the International Space Station, where it was due to dock on Saturday. Now, initially, everything, se everything seemed to be going as planned. The takeoff was successful and the craft successfully separated from the carrier rocket nine minutes later, but then contact was briefly lost. Now, this particular craft, which is part of the Progress resupply mission, it uses a, uses a three-stage Soyuz booster, which to you and I means that the rocket, the spacecraft, increases its speed three times in order to give it the speed it needs to exit the Earth's atmosphere. And it was during this third boost that a malfunction appeared to occur and contact was lost between mission control and the craft. Now, this was only brief, of course, shortly after contact was regained and the ship is now believed to be in preliminary orbit, but coordinate, coordinates of the spacecraft at this point are unknown. There are some un unanswered questions at this point. Uh, first of all, it's unknown whether the ship will still be able to complete its mission and dock with the International Space Station as it was due to do this Saturday. However, experts are pondering the possibility that the ship has entered the wrong orbit and therefore will be unable to complete its mission. There, are also, there is also the possibility that, that the spacecraft has already crashed in the Pacific or um, in China. Now, another question is how crucial the supplies on this cargo craft are to the International Space Station. But to diff diffuse any initial panic, we know that the International Space Station is always overly stocked with supplies, uh, um, just in case of a scenario like this. Now, um, the worst case scenario at this point being that the, the ship has been completely lost, um, but we're still waiting for a, an official statement from Roscosmos, which is the Russian space agency. Sure, OK, we'll keep across it tonight. Thanks, Nikki. That was at RT's Nikki Aaron.